everyone, this is Leslie with Color Art. I've had a few comments asking me where I've been besides getting all those tints and the metals mixed up when Customs did a release. Finally, and the government is open. Hooray! Um, I've been working on colors because Valentine is, Valentine's is inspiring me right now. And um, it all started with the two reds we have on the line, the Queen Stiletto, sorry I had the blushing lily in the camera, and the Red Plum are, are two current reds. The Queen Stiletto is on one extreme end of the spectrum that's real warm. It has just the right amount of yellow to make it a hot red before it falls over into the category of actually being an orange red. Okay. And the red plum is on the extreme opposite of the category where we've made it as deep as possible without it actually going blue to purple. Okay, So we needed something kind of in the middle. Valentine's is coming up. And I couldn't exactly call it hot cinnamon, but it's a really pretty color. Uh, here's the three so you can see them in the camera. I'll get a close-up for you so you can look at the powders. Powers will tell a little bit, but it's really once I mix it in the resin. If you can see these three colors, you can see that this is a little bit, like I said, on the warmer range. This is like on the deeper range, and this, God, this color is really pretty. Puppy Love, it's my Valentine red. I chose not to use the word Valentine or heart in the name because some people have had negative experiences on, holiday, uh, on Valentine's. I've had girlfriends whose boyfriends broke up with them just before Valentine's so they didn't have to deal with the seriousness of Valentine's Day. So this color Puppy Love is the one that kind of spirited these five colors that we're releasing. We'll be mixing them next week. These are my lab batches that I'm setting to the lab. And uh, we'll be mixing up five gorgeous colors this week. Another color that I've been asked for a lot is a peach or that Pantone color of the year, that coral. This is called Peach Fuzz. A little bit different than our Blushing Lily. Our Blushing Lily is actually uh, more of an actual orange. I, I, I realize uh, it may not look like the bright Clementine orange. The one looks like the orange that you actually eat. But what slants this into more of a direction where you may think it has kind of a corally undertone is the mica. It's all about the light and the mica and the color. And because this has interference violet in it, you might think that that's covering a coral, but wait till you play with this peach fuzz. Because looking next to one another, you can see how much more red and actual orange this is, where this is giving us that true, pretty coral, Pantone color of the year. 2019 everybody's been asking for. Now another color missing in the line and this really is not related to Valentine's but I just saw this as a missing component. Um, this is a really pretty ocean blue called uh, Surf's Up. Unlike your Belize blue which is much darker actually has a tiny bit of violet in the Belize. And then the Blue Moon is a completely different kind of blue. I don't know for how much the camera's going to pick that up. But the Blue Moon, in, when we buy in blues from our color supplier, it seems that they have kind of the cyan color that we see that is used in a lot of um, um, printing and web work. And then they also have what I call a cobalt, which is kind of like this Blue Moon color. The only other blue we have that would have come close to this surfs up uh, is Glacier Ice, which is several shades lighter. Now, Glacier Ice is a gorgeous color. However, there's some positive and limitations to it. It is silver based. There's actual silver in it. And when you're dealing with uh, ground metal colors, they have a tendency to sit on the surface and the color underneath is hard to see. And while it's a benefit, it's beautiful, it's, it was a little bit limiting when I was swiping and I found that I really needed a middle of the range, pretty ocean blue, 
surfs up. All right, another color that I've been asked since I started is a rose gold. This is called Antique Rose. I've been working on this for actually a few months. And when I made my last batch of Platinum Rose, which is a silver rose color, it turned out so gorgeous. I just said, you know, I'm a worm girl. I've really got to do a rose gold. Now, on Valentine's, there's another color you see a lot. It's the color of the actual ginger flower bloom, the bloom of the ginger. It's a, it's a red violet um, in a violet base, unlike the Fantasy Fuchsia, which would probably be the color you might try to compare it with the most. They are different in tone, but this also has interference blue in it, plus and minus to the Fantasy Fuchsia. It's got the color shifting of the blue in it, which makes some insane changes. But if you're trying to blend it with another kind of red or pink, the blue can fight with this. This uh, Ginger Bloom will not do that, okay? So here is my re new release for Valentine's. In 2019, you're going to notice we're going to start retiring colors shortly after we're introducing colors. So March 31st, we will be retiring three, at least three colors, okay? Right now on my list, it's possible that we're going to lose, I have them pulled out here, um, Fantasy Fuchsia, uh, what is the other one? Is it Twilight Orchid, Twilight Orchid, and the African Sky. So if they're colors that you guys have been looking for to get, I would get them purchased before March 31st. Um, and then what we're thinking is once a year, we can bring back some retired colors for a one month purchase in case somebody wants it. But this is a way of keeping our, our uh, pick line, product line, kind of in a controllable area so we can always be shipping fast and we're not worried about making colors. So we're going to play with these. I cannot wait. I just finished making these samples um, and got them in the jars and got them labeled, like I said, for the lab. So let's uh, do a quick mix and see what these little guys look like. These are one ounce souffle cups that I'm pouring resin in. I'm gonna fill them halfway. Put an eighth of a teaspoon of each one of these colors in, mix them up, and then we'll do some tile tests. I'm also gonna to have to mix some black and white up, so you have to bear with me. I'll get back once I've got the black and white mixed up. But for right now, let's, let's play with these. Now, I am very excited about the Puppy Love. I have just been um, wanting to have a more middle-of-the-road Valentine Red, and now Valentine's is upon us. So there's the uh, Puppy Love. Here is the Peach Fuzz. Here is my Surf's Up Blue. <laughs> Looks like it really doesn't belong with this group, but. Actually, the blue will be gorgeous next to a peach or next to that uh, rose gold. So we'll be able to get some pretty tiles, I think, out of these. Okay, that is the antique rose, which is basically our version of rose gold. And this is the ginger bloom, which if you're familiar with the primary element line, this would be like ginger flower. That's what I was going for, and it's one of my favorite colors I play with all the time. Okay, so now we got a decent close-up on these. Um, this is the Ginger Bloom. Oh, that's pretty. And it's violet on violet, which means it's really clean, easy to blend with other colors that are similar, you know, that you want to do any kind of monochromatic stuff with. Uh, let's mix the one I've been dying to try all along with the Puppy Love. Oh yeah. There's my really gorgeous Valentine Red. Ah, uh, thank you. 
I am loving this color. The uh, resin art, if you've never seen us work with this before, the color and the mica are preconditioned. We uh, bind them together. And so they dissolve pretty fast in the, um, in the resin. This is your peach fuzz. That coral, boy, around these other pinks, it's really picking up the pink there. This is your peach fuzz. And last and certainly not least, which I get some of these out of the camera so they're not fighting with the color as I'm mixing it because the, the focus of the camera is having fun with this. This is the rose gold. Antique rose. Absolutely love this color. It's exactly what I was looking for. So we're going to top these off with the rest of the resin because we, oh, I didn't mix up the blue, did I? Oops. Let's get this. Yeah, this is gorgeous. This is exactly what we needed. And this is more of like an, a really beautiful ocean blue blue. So there they are mixed up. Let's get ready to do a tile test. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to lubricate my tile and then just warm it gently with the gun. Uh, by lubricating your surface, it does make the uh, resin flow a little bit easier. All I am is warming it. That's all I'm doing is just warming it. Okay, so I just wanted to see what that puppy love looks like in the cold light of day next to the rose gold, which is this antique rose. Now this first one, I'm just going to do a test showing all five of them, just if I can get all five of them on here. So you can see the color variations of them. I'm thinking to break this up, I really do want to put a black and a white on here. So maybe I shouldn't put, I'll do all five on the end because I'm liking what's happening here with this rose gold. I'm going to put a little lumen light right here in the center here. kind of going with this kids. I want to kind of do, see what they look over black and white. What I'm thinking is even more than just that. Come on, let's give it a little bit of a chance to be a little bit red there. Okay, well, child test one. I put some of the lumen light black here in the middle. The antique rose, which is basically your rose gold. You can see it here. The puppy love red. 
And let's see what happens when we going to redistribute the paint here. I realize that went over the white. going to do. This is about testing the colors. Giving you guys a close-up and personal. Okay, let's try to get the black over this red. And then we'll swipe into the white. got a little glare from that lap on top. Ooh, I'm loving that color. That is a really pretty red. Oh, gorgeous. Now we're starting to get some lacing here with this uh, this rose gold color. Incidentally, I'm taking, these are pieces of um, Yupo paper. It's a plasticized paper. You can reuse over and over and over again. I'm wiping this down with alcohol so I can use it again. Uh, so if you've noticed, I'm redistributing the paint by scraping it back on here. I scraped some here and I re-scraped some here, which kind of gave me some patterns on each one of these edges. I don't know, I'm kind of loving exactly what this red is doing. Puppy love red, baby. I feel like just taking a little bit of this red and black and just kind of swiping it right here so it looks finished. Without re swiping the whole darn thing. Wow. To get, I know I'm as close up as I can possibly get without getting too close up. We're starting to get some kind of um, textures forming. You can see the variation of the red and how the light hits it, and it's still going to give you some coolness because it's dead set middle of the road red where it's warm but it's cool and it's got it all. To me, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous Valentine red. Okay, we're going to set this aside. I got another little holder to put it on. Okay, so I've lubricated my tile. I'm going to warm it up a little bit. Just some pure resin, a thin coat. Just a thin coat of resin over the top. And I think in this one I'm going to kind of decide where my black's going to go. Okay, so I really want to see how this blue looks. I, I really just, to me, this is my personal. I had to have this blue. We need it. We don't have it. It'll be really nice that we've got it to play with. Um, we know that the peach and the blue will be gorgeous together. 
So I'm going to take some of the peach fuzz and kind of run it down here to the side. Oh, that's cute. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And run some of it up here. And run a little bit here and see what happens. We lost some of our black for swiping. Again, guys, this is just a tile test for colors. I'm not trying to make a work of art, but... Ooh, I can see the blue coming up underneath that peach. And yet you can see the coral part of it here where the blues... See how the blues come underneath? It looks more violet. And yet you can see how it's real corally here. All right, well, we're going to do a little swipe. Actually, what I first want to do is kind of swipe the, the black over this coral. It's so pretty. Had a lot of resin on there. Didn't quite mean to go that far, but I wanted to see what happens right here with that black over... I feel like I've lost all my black in the center, but we know it's underneath that blue. So we're hoping by swiping it, it's going to pick it up because I really don't want to reapply more black. Put in a little bit of pure black right here. Get it over this blue. Bring it back down. And see what we get here. Ooh. You're getting bits of turquoise, which is exactly what you would get with a Laguni blue. And I swiped that color. I scraped the color off my swipey paper off. that blue is gorgeous. They do take a little while to form any kind of patterns or selling. You know, it's the alumilite you're pouring, pulling over the color. We're getting a tiny bit of what's happening in here from the first one where I went over. Now, there's red, gold, and a pinch of violet in your coral color. So you have chances of getting little bits of red uh, little bits of uh, violet in your black that will come off your coral color when you're pulling over it. And yet you can see how light this turned out where it went into the white because that, that is such a beautiful ocean blue. So I'm going to pull this one back up. Keep going. We only have 45 minutes time. Next up is the ginger bloom. I know lots of pinks and peaches and reds, but boy, I'm telling you, Valentine's really just inspired me. And I could see all these holes in the line. When I say holes, colors that could be filled, could potentially find a home. That is one gorgeous color. Oof, 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 oof. And in the violet. I mean, <laughs> the violet, the violet mic is gorgeous. I mean, it just really is. This is true red violet at its best. It screams Valentine's too. This is definitely a pretty, pretty, pretty Valentine color. So let's, uh, again, got to be careful with not going too crazy with the black. I think 
think I'm going to play with this uh, antique rose again. I am in love with this rose gold. Been wanting to have a rose gold for us for a really long time. And I'm so happy I finally got the shade I really, really wanted. Um, if anybody who knows me has been talking to me, I've been talking about making a rose gold for months. So... I'm glad the moment's here. We're able to do this. I don't know what other colors. I mean, I'm trying to stick to the colors that I've actually got made and not, you know, incorporate or put anything else in them so you guys get a full close up of what this looks like. I will put some pink, I think. I mean, some white here on these edges. And this time I'm going to try to swipe the white over the color. Let's see what happens. Let's get this spread around though. We don't want it glumpy and messy. Even, if, even though if this may not be a work of art, it's still going to take pride in what we're putting out. Now, of course, where the white and this ginger bloom is mixing, it's already making an incredibly beautiful light pink. It's going to be gorgeous. I have no doubt. Just gently warming. Actually, it's kind of cold in here. I think I need another glass to heat. I am working on tile, so you can't warm it for too long because tile is basically glass and it gets hot fast. So let's take this white and this black. sideways it's not level what's going on I have an unlevel tile something's happening my little holder was a level okay here we go much better all right and then I'm gonna put this uh, the color I've got here still on my Yupo paper I'm swiping it right back up here in the corner so you can blow that back in and actually have, there's still more left on there. I could do that one more time. No reason to waste it. See, you can incorporate that. See that? That can be incorporated right back into the design. Okay, I really, really, really love how bright that black and the, I uh, wonder if I can just blow that around and just kind of incorporate it without losing it all. See if I can get a close up of this. The um, antique rose, that rose gold, is getting so pretty here. It's getting a really nice, pretty pattern as it's creating some selling. You can start to see the peach forming in here. You see that beautiful coral? But I'm going to give it one more chance at it. It seemed to lose some of its uh, pizzazz. I think I got crazy with the black. Um, let's 
So I did the blue with the coral. This time I think I'm going to do the blue with the uh, rose gold. Surf set blue. Pull some white over the top of this instead of the black. I realize it's weird, it's all one blue because I don't have any other colors mixed. But I think I'm gonna do some of the oh, golden, the rose gold and a little lacing of black after I get this heated up and swiped around, so we'll see. if I had it hot enough actually. I'm swiping all the resin off. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh. This I'm blowing around, I'm not swiping kids, but look at how pretty that rose gold is. Oh my God, on top of that blue, I, that's pretty, <laughs> pretty. Let me pop the bubbles. Some of that's bubbles, some of that's just the paint reacting to what's below because you know it's going on top of it, so.
Okay, that's good enough. I'm not going to overwork this. I think that's good enough. It gives us enough ideas of at least what these colors look like reacting to one another. I am so happy with this rose gold. <laughs> Sorry. I get excited about little things. Colors get me excited. Okay, I have quite a bit of resin still left. And if I can figure out a way to put them all on one tile so you can see the different color combinations, um, I certainly will. I know I'm going to show them all to you in the final end. I kind of want to put this puppy love red right in the middle. So we're going to do a right down the center. There's the red. Okay. Here's the peach fuzz. That's that Pantone color of the year, that coral. Okay. <clears throat> Here is the blue, surfs up blue, which of course is going to give us a nice color break next to that red, of course it will. Here is the ginger blossom pink. It's really a red bottle. I wouldn't call this a pink, but boy, everybody's got their own opinion about what color, what category they want to put things in. But next to one another, you can really see the difference in the tones and the colors. See now that. First, when I first put that down, you're going to go, well, that might be a little bit pink, but boy, next to these other two, see how much that's showing up as a nice, clean valentine, my clean valentine red. And then last but not least, we'll do a stripe of the antique rose, our rose, our new rose gold, which I am so excited about, can't stand it. Only because I, I've been watching that platinum rose, and that was the first color that everybody asked for. They wanted that silver rose. And I'm more of a warm girl. I really like rose gold. And it gives me just more variations of the golds that I can add as lacing over the top of my colors instead of using straight gold. Okay, so... There you have it. Our five brand new resin art colors. Peach fuzz. This is our puppy love. The antique rose, which is your rose gold, right? The Ginger Bloom, which is so, oh, that's that pretty color right here. I'm loving that Ginger Bloom. And last but not least, Surf's Up Blue, a much needed blue for the line. So here we have a recap of all four. This is the Puppy Love Red with some of that antique rose, our rose gold. Uh, our uh, peach fuzz got lost on this. <laughs> but this was the uh, surf's up with the peach fuzz. This is that uh, bloom, ginger bloom color. And again, I know I got lost on using the rose gold on everything. I had to try it on everything. This is that last piece where we did just the straight surf set blue with a little bit of rose gold. And then here is that tile test of all five on there. You can see how different they are. And these are all wet that I picked up for you. So 
pardon me in the stickiness of how this is working. I want to thank you for joining me for today's tile test. Uh, these colors will be up on the website probably before the video is completely, totally loaded. I'm going to be putting them up now. I want to thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.